Am I live? Am I live? Can you hear me? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So today we are not going to work on Substack, the open source clone, Agent K, because I just didn't feel like uh, building that today because no reason <laughs> just did not feel like it. so instead <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go and create something else uh, for a change today I'll 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 work on I'll work using node.js I wanted to do something else actually I wanted to work on crystal but I thought very low time so instead of that today we're going to work on node.js uh, so for that let's do one thing let's first you know create something uh, create a structure or something like that uh, and I'll explain what I'm going to do so first I just want to check that I have redis installed and uh, could not connect connection refused okay why redis server started okay redis CLI connected all right so the so today what i'm going to do is going to build a pub sub server so what is a pub sub so pub sub is essentially you know you send something to the server and then that is publishing and then server sends something back to you because you're subscribed to that so <laughs> it's very weird but uh, let me explain let me gather my thoughts but essentially what it is is um you subscribe to a specific let's say room and whatever is published to that room you get updates and you also have an option to let's say publish something to the room so if five people are subscribed to room a and among the five one of them basically hi shreyas hi shilpi uh, if one of them basically um, sends a message uh, all five of them in that room receive those receive receive the, receive that message so that is essentially pub sub um, great so let's just see how it's done so the basic architecture for that will be we will be using redis uh, which is already a pub sub server so it's kind of cheating but what i'm going to be doing is uh, using redis uh, to sort of make it scalable but let's first create it without redis how do we do that uh, so the basic underlying structure of this is web sockets and uh, if you don't know what web sockets are they are a way they are they are request similar to let's say http requests uh, in that you know we create a long not a long we just don't close the socket we open a socket we connect and then we don't so close the socket until you know we decide to close it so that is a web socket uh, on the web socket what happens is we can send and server can send us data back uh and uh, you know we don't need to create requests again and again we just have one long running request and there all the exchange of data happens all right so that is i mean i, I did not get into web sockets very well i know but uh, essentially what web web sockets help you to send and receive data to and from a server without making multiple requests all right so not long float what's long not float i don't know uh before that i just realized my webcam looks horrible i'm like i'm not that fair guys so let me just very quickly you know fix my settings so camera default okay this is something i should have done earlier but i was late i was late op anyway <laughs> yeah 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 i know all right all right all right uh let's start so first of all let's just name it something uh i'll just be very creative today and i'll call it pub sub okay now let's go in pub sub and i'm going to working i'm going to be working with node.js because that's like uh the most common way to do it i would have done it in rails but apparently not not a lot of people like rails uh, 
but uh, yeah let's do it in node.js i'll be like yarn in it i think yarn in it is some is something yes uh yeah 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 yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, whatever right something we've made and we have a package.json which has something and uh, let's create a new file called index.js right uh, now that we have the index.js uh, first thing first what should we do so the first thing that i think we need to do is create let's say a server right uh, so i've been told i mean i know that uh, express is the most common way to create a server uh, but what we can also do is uh, we can create like a raw server and then basically use that so if i want to see the raw server how does the raw server looks like um actually fuck it. uh we'll just use express server so for that we'll have to add the package yarn at express uh do i need to add anything else yes i need to add websockets uh the library called websocket and um, I think nothing else. Uh, do I have a chat? Nope, no chat. All right. My phone's buzzing. Guys, it's streaming, please. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is constant express require express, right? Uh, this way we have added an express server, server, express server. And uh, We'll also create an app called Express. This is how we create an app. And just to test things out, um, we need to do this. And then uh, I believe a request response object with the Express server, right? And whatever the request is, I just want to respond with hello world hello world my old friend I've come to talk to you again something went wrong right it should have opened a server obviously it did not because I'm such an idiot <laughs> idiot so yeah I need to app dot listen at Port 3000 will not work. I forgot. Port 4000. And I hope it's listening. You can just go to localhost port 4000. And it responds with hello world. Raw server looks raw. Accent OP. Okay. Um, so the next thing that we will do is uh, is uh, um, let's just create one HTML file that we'll use um, for basically creating the web socket and everything right uh, so this needs to be HTML uh, web socket playground I suppose I don't know what to call it <coughs> and here we'll have a script tag and in the script tag what we'll do is we'll write const ws is equal to websocket I think it should be s capital and um, localhost port 4000 slash uh, this is where we want to connect with the websocket and uh, let's just leave it at that then we have I think four methods now how do I figure out these methods I'll get to that but before that I know the four methods actually should I wait should I first create the websocket server and then we try to find out the methods I think that's a good idea so let's just leave this at this leave this at that and the next thing that we will do is const websocket actually let's just call it web socket is equal to require ws 
okay ws is the library that we use for web sockets and uh, let's just go through the documentation of it real quick oops 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 <laughs> Uh, npmjs.org packages ws uh, packages is it package oh it's package my bad all right uh, so now that we are here um, okay so it should be actually const w websocket capitals and then we will create a websocket server out of this right and we write const uh, one thing that i know is this responds with an http server so i'll just capture that server real quick and uh, yep here we have uh, the options uh, the options that we have I think uh, the one that I am looking for is called no server mm, or I think we can add a server here yeah I think we can add the server server or listen that's fine yeah this is one this is the one that I'm looking because we want to have our own server right uh, our express app is our server and um, now on connection what do we want to do uh, so basically like say we're sending and receiving data this is what i want um, hmm, wss dot on connection this is now we have a connection whenever the connection opens we want to write a function which should work uh, with like the web socket that we are getting and uh, I think a bunch of other things Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think we get the Client as well client authentication. Yes, so we get web socket. We get request and we get client um, So the web socket is the first one then the request and the client whatever we decide to call it uh, now we have the web socket web socket on we can have a bunch of things here uh, let's say on message so whenever we receive a message this is what we want the client to do and uh, we have this function called MSG uh, so instead of this I think I believe we can also use this similarly instead of this I believe we can use this right uh, now that we receive a message let's say we want to just console.log this message receive a message comma msg okay and uh, what else what else can i do w s in the gee w's in the gee W's in the gee. Will I be able to do these on Windows easily or is it Linux all the way? Uh, so can if you're able to run let's say Node.js on Windows uh, which I believe you can uh, then you can do this easily it's nothing it's not a big deal uh, if not and you have a Windows there are a bunch of ways you can use WSL which is a Windows subsystem for Linux uh, <clears throat> which sort of gives you the Linux API, uh, the Unix underlying API and um, you can just run commands on Windows similar to how you would do on a Unix system like Mac or a Linux or you can do a boot into a <laughs> Linux system but I think Node.js works on Windows so you will be able to do that on Windows as well because this is purely Node.js, this is not something that we are using from the OS. Alright. okay now whenever we receive a message we'll simply be like you know we received a message and what is the message this is the message okay uh, so we have to go and restart the server 
we actually have to do one more thing uh, which is open this file from here and we can open the file here and now in this we realize that there is a new websocket constructor is required uh, there's an error in this file and yes the error is we did not write new because I still think that I'm working in Ruby where we don't need to do that but we still need dot new why, why, why am I doing this mistake okay Firefox can't establish to uh, websocket local host port 4000 not a, not an issue why is it not able to do that is a question uh, and the answer is because 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 I'm using multiple server connection right uh, server dot on upgrade yes this is the this is what we need to do actually in the client authentication we should use this from the client authentication sorry uh, so what I have done is I've, I've asked the server to work on WebSocket but then I haven't added the WebSocket code to the servers which is why we're getting a problem. Oh my god we have 5 concurrent viewers. I can only see CLP and Trace. Uh, please, please, please write something in chat. But yeah. So whenever we get a call we need to upgrade whenever we get an upgrade call so what happens is when web websocket tries to make a connection it first creates an http call and then it gives asks the request to basically upgrade itself and this is where we are going to handle that upgrading bit right um, so whenever we get the upgrade call uh, we just have to write wss.handle.upgrade dot upgrade handle upgrade basically and uh, Whenever we get the upda upgrade call, we send handle upgrade request socket and head. And uh, whenever it's done, we just need to call the connection on WS request and client. So we are emitting this uh, event called connection on the WSS. And here we are handling this. Uh, in the three things that we are sending it uh, are WS request and client. Although now you will see that I haven't written client uh, like I haven't defined client anywhere on the server yet so what I will do is I'll write a constant client uh, and I'll assign a value let's say random value uh, what, what random value I should just write uh, like show with OP right um, and uh, now the server should basically upgrade itself i go back to the node server that we are running and i restart the server i go back to firefox and i refresh and there is no error because i believe we made a connection and we can just see that ws is there uh, because we did not make an error so we have a web socket which is connected now what we can do is we can send a message and we will see that the message has arrived over here so I'm just right putting my terminal over there so that when I write something on the Firefox on my Firefox you should see over there and I'll be like ws.send <coughs> on send let's say hi from console and now when I press enter the value should come over here okay three two one GMD let's rock received a message hi from console okay 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 show with op okay it works it works so we have made you know i'm very excited because this is the first time i'm trying to do node.js uh, like i've done node.js earlier but like not without a lot of reference material and this is probably the first time that I'm doing it and you know this shit works but uh, yeah great 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 so it worked um, the next thing that we need to do is yeah I wanted to see first what are the methods that are available on WS so WS or on and then we have four methods as you can see close error message and open right so let's just go ahead and define these and see what happens what on 
open uh, now one thing that I don't know right now is uh, what 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 argument I'll get over here so I can just search for WebSocket on open and see what I get as arguments right and then based on that we can just uh, oops based on that we can just see what to do okay an event listener on close is an event listener right but I want on open first on message on error on close we have all the four so we get an event as an option and then websocket is closed we can write over there all right similarly we get event everywhere I'm guessing so uh, on open what we have to do is e um, console.log right uh, websocket is now open and let's just do one more thing uh, let's do on close as well webs is not open <laughs> it should not be not open it's now open now closed you don't google stack overflow much op i thought code does google a lot i do i do i do i do google a lot a lot a lot but this is fresh in my mind uh because i was working on this i think for the past two days or something uh, i was just working on some web sockets feature and by this time i'm i i still know like the, at least the javascript part a lot and uh, if you think about it i'm doing a lot of googling like i opened this thing right but anyway uh and then there's an on error uh, which uh, is called whenever an error is occurred uh, and uh, uh, the re the last one is on message so we'll just be like ws dot on error whenever we get an error uh, we just have to error occurred on web socket <coughs> and I'll also print the error and the last one is on message right and uh, oops oops console.log message received right and then we'll have the message which i believe i don't know how to read right now so i have to go back to this and okay event is the mess no no event dot data will be the message if i am uh, not wrong so this is the event and then event dot data will be the message so we have set up a very basic client uh, for web sockets and uh, let's just see if we made a mistake or not and i'll refresh and there is a problem ws dot on open is not a function actually none of these are functions if i'm not wrong uh yeah the, we have to assign a function to them okay right and this is how we assign a function and uh, we don't need actually this and then we don't need sorry you need you are so pretty <coughs> i may have and uh, hopefully this should work now websocket is now open because we have already made the connection uh we are not sending a message right now uh we will send pretty soon uh but let's say we have made a connection uh whenever we get um some sort of 
WebSocket, what we'll do is uh, when after the connection, let's say set timeout. No, set interval is a function in JavaScript. I don't know how it works. <sighs> Guys, look at this supposedly senior engineer <laughs> searching for even basic stuff. And I'm doing it on Google as well. Why? 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 Set interval. Okay. Uh, function and then the times. Okay. So the function that uh, we will be calling is ws dot send. I guess. <coughs> uh, I think so. I'm not hundred percent sure right now. So yeah, send the time right now is and then what we'll do is plus uh, we'll just find out the time uh, the time is new date dot uh, new date what <laughs> a is equal to new date I don't remember basic shit get UTC Sorry, two ISO string. Yeah, this is what I want. Dot two ISO string. Okay, okay, and then the time is this, uh, and we'll send this every 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 three seconds if I'm not if I'm fine with it, and uh, we connect. WebSocket is now open and we did not get a message because i forgot to start restart the server whenever i close the server whenever i close the server i get websocket is now closed because it closes the websocket connection now uh, we connect again and uh, three seconds later we see the time right now is whatever again again right and if we, for every three seconds we'll start getting this message so we'll just change it to 10 seconds for now restart the server go back to the page websocket is now closed we just re refresh and now every 10 seconds we'll get a message how cool so what we have essentially uh, created right now is a way to send a message without refreshing the server or without creating a new request and to receive message from the server right so this is pretty cool right now but what more can i do now this is not pubsub right now this is just a very simple demo of websocket now what pubsub requires is um, we connect to a specific let's say a room or a topic we subscribe to it and whenever a new message is sent to that topic everyone who subscribed to that topic receives and receives that new message right uh, and the other thing that we also need to do is we need to be able to send a message to the server so that whatever right so we are right now connected to a web socket um, what happens let's say <coughs> whenever we get a message uh, whenever sorry sorry so now to create a web socket server sorry a pops up server all right now to create a pops up server we need to store all the sockets in let's say an array or a hash or whatever so that we know who to broadcast a message to for now what we'll do is we'll just remove the code which is sending us the time again and again we restart the server uh, now whenever let's say a web socket is created <coughs> what I'll do is I'll create a hash or an object in JavaScript lingo called sockets right and uh, this object now will uh, basically uh, help us subscribe to something all right um, so whenever we whenever the connection is made what we'll do is sockets and then in the sockets client so whatever the client that we are sending right now with op what we'll see is uh, 
<coughs> we'll create a channel first right and if the channel <coughs> does not exist if the channel is there firstly what we'll do is channel dot push and push the ws to there else will be like sockets client is equal to an empty array and not an empty array actually this array and uh, what we will need to do is then reassign channel but we can't do it so we will just call it var and then uh, what we'll do is we call sockets client is the channel now just in case we need to use the channel confused op confused yep okay okay now ws dot on message whenever we receive a message we receive a message right so what we'll do is we'll rebroadcast it to everyone in the channel so sockets client if let's say we have this uh, why am I doing this I shouldn't do this I think I, I will have the channel object uh, whatever that is right and then channel dot okay let's use a for loop instead for i in channel dot length blah 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 <coughs> channel dot i we have var socket is equal to channel i socket dot send message so now what we have made is basically whenever we receive a message we send it back right the only problem right now is that uh, there is a chance that actually there is no problem because we are looping through the uh, actually there is a problem actually I don't know <laughs> I, <laughs> um, so the <laughs> problem in my mind is what if a connection loses a channel uh, loses a socket like there is a connection which gets dropped off so we need to make sure that the socket is still open right so to see how to do that by the way this is <coughs> a way to do this we have wss.clients uh, and we can use that to send the message to everybody Client web socket broadcasting. Nope, nope, nope. Still confused how to do that. Client dot ready state is equal to web socket dot open. Okay. This is the way to do it. So <clears throat> if uh, socket dot ready state is web socket dot open, then we send <coughs> the message else else we should technically remove this uh, socket from the channel but remove this socket from the channel but I am still a little not I mean I don't remember how to do that so I'm not going to do that uh, I'll have to search for it but before doing that let's just see if this shit works WebSocket is now open, but we did not restart the server. WebSocket is now open. WS dot send. Hi. Now that we send, we receive a message hi as well. Uh, now the other thing that we need to do is make sure that you know the message is received here as well. So WS dot send. Uh, sending from tab one. We received it to tab one. Did we get it? Yes. We got it in tab 2 as well. Right? So now that we have created a very simple Kismet connection. <coughs> Sorry. 
we have now created a very simple uh, pub sub server where you know uh, you're sending one message and it's broadcast to everyone who's connected right uh, now why is it broadcasting to everyone who's connected is because we are sending this to uh, all the sockets that are in the show with op this thing we can change this we can change this uh, client basically uh, we can just call it room for now right uh, this is the room that the user will uh, authenticate to connect to okay and uh, now instead of getting the room like this right we can actually get the room directly from web sockets so in the web sockets we have a way to tell that this is the protocol that i want to connect to and let's say that protocol is my protocol okay or whatever shit uh, so this my protocol here uh, we will we can actually find from the request object uh, or actually what we can do is instead of my protocol we can just call it my room right and when when we do this uh, in the request object of the server we have a url that we can just print out right uh, and i restart the server and let's say i refresh websocket is now open and the url says my room right um, so first i need to pass this url to figure out the path <coughs> uh, get path in http server node js by shilp uh, i believe right now meha and shreyas are there i don't know shreyas are you there Okay, so I believe uh, we can just do this node uh, u is equal to require uh, URL, yeah, and then u dot pass, yeah, and we can have whatever, and then we can find the path which is slash. I don't want the slash. Say if this is HTTP colon slash slash local host. Uh, the path is with slash. Uh, okay, URL parts. Uh, oh, right. So I can just split it with slash and uh, okay, weird. okay no problem um oh yeah there's a path name apparently path name undefined huh? uh um, can i do this here yeah path name okay there's no difference between path and path name so we don't we will not do some complicated thing uh, what we'll do is we can just set a room path here now in the request.url uh, the request.url can I do that so in request.url uh, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll first create a const called uri I guess what is it url sorry not uri url require uh, url 
right uh, now what we'll do is url dot parts request dot url and uh, what we will get out of that is uh, past url right now in past url uh, what i'll do is i'll split by slash and uh, uh, we'll get is there a way to filter in uh, in node.js filter an array in node.js okay i'm very bad at node.js but yes there is filter okay hmm right uh filter and i just need element over here and uh, the element can just give me uh, e dot length less than one no no if i if i do it like this okay i need i need uh, greater than zero so this way we'll get all and uh, whatever the url is see now uh, to find the room we just have uh, const path parts right now if path parts dot length is less than one we just simply say uh, return return we socket dot close we close the socket and we just say return right otherwise what we'll do is <laughs> path part uh, zero and this is the room that we'll connect to and just we'll, we'll print out the room is room. all right uh, now to do this make sure the server server connects picks up the changes we restart the server and we refresh and then there's an error dot split is not a function okay because i did not use path over here error card great still an error socket dot close is not a function socket dot close is not a function weird um so why is it not a function i need to sort of think is it destroy socket dot close is not a function yes destroy yeah so if you know we don't match anything uh, we just destroy great so instead of close it should be destroy right uh, and uh, if we do this it should work is now closed there was an error there was still an error uh, because we are not we are connecting to that to the right thing why is there an error uh, okay just let's just print everything this is the famous debugging shit that we are doing now past url dot path let's see what comes out of this uh restart the server I refresh this my room great uh so if we split it <coughs> path path parts what comes empty array okay why uh probably because in the past he parsed the url <clears throat> and splitting by slash there was a problem no filter only where e dot length is <clears throat> console dot log e comma e dot length uh, famous debugging guys my room is six uh, great 
3 dot length greater than 0 false true then something should be returned in the filter right uh, or am I using filter incorrectly yeah I think I think I'm using the filter incorrectly uh, if I have an array which like this is my room a right and a dot uh, filter what is my filter I get an empty array false true what the create a new array with all in the pass the test implemented by provided function oh this is not ruby this is javascript we need to add return my god all right <clears throat> so restart the server refresh this room is my room great and uh, for, I'll refresh again and I'll just say room what I'll do is first make sure that everything in the room is connected so now if I just send a message the message that I send is hi received a reply hi and received the message in each of them but now let's say I just call it my room one right and then I refresh uh, and I send a message again message received high but it, we did not receive it here because this is my room one and if I send a message again here uh, we receive here but we don't receive it here but now if I refresh here we'll connect to my room one uh, room is my room one great and uh, we send hi we will receive here and we receive there as well good now if I refresh so we have closed one socket and we are restarting another one uh, and if I send and send a message I believe we should get an error we did not get an error and you know why because I've already handled it so the error that I was saying was this is going to be the error uh, and let's just see if we actually get an error uh, right so right now we will not get an error because only once we have connected now we connect again reconnect and we send a message and we still did not get an error okay then I don't need to handle it but I'll still handle it I mean must be some weird thing right <clears throat> now we have clients uh, which we are connecting to La, we are now basically connecting to a specific room and we are doing all that shit in jazz we can theoretically now have headers in the request which with which we can do a bunch of things right uh, so for example the request that we get uh, actually we won't be able to set headers except the the protocol header uh, so what usually happens is uh, you will set let's say a json J, jwt token json web token not jwt token json web token jwt uh, over here and you will just enter the value uh, then you will get this value in the header uh, and where the headers are i'll just print the headers request dot headers i think uh, this is the way to do it uh, let me just see if it is yes i believe it is restart the server we make a call and now you'll see all the headers host user agent blah accept blah blah, blah. Sec security websocket uh, version which is fine but the extension that i'm the the token that i was talking about uh is here uh, websocket uh 
key version right and uh, now I know this doesn't look like the message that we sent and that is because I think it is in base 64 b64 oops uh, decode base 64 node.js uh, with node.js I have to write like th uh, search for every little thing but I believe I'm a uh, pretty good with rails so I don't need to do that anymore yeah okay so this is the new buffer and in the buffer we'll write b64 and buff is equal to this okay there's an error or oh, deprecation warning that's fine um, and uh, we just have to go buff buff dot to string and read it in base base 64 oh no no we want to convert it again okay yeah we have to decode okay so for def decode this is the way base 64 right now we have buff uh, buff dot to string let's say uh, okay Sky, I believe. No. UTF eight. No. Unicode. It's an uncode. The hell is going on? Okay. <laughs> Let me just see what I have written. Oh, I'm not written anything. I did. I believe. It. Um. yeah sorry this is it there it is security websocket protocol right and uh, now that we have security websocket protocol uh, what we can just be like is sec websocket protocol right and instead of a room we can have like a connection object because it's directly going from here to here so you can just put the token over there and then this is how we can identify the user do authentication and whatnot so yeah this is my time this is a very simple websocket um, server uh, what I will do is uh, I'll also do one thing socket room is equal to uh, socket actually channel dot filter e right and uh, if it is not open we will just be like e is not equal to ws or not even ws socket yeah we will just remove the socket if it is not there okay very inefficient but it works all right uh yeah that is my time uh if you have any question please please ask me uh, I stream every Sunday at 3 today I started at 3 30 because I was a little tired uh, but usually I start at 3 which is a very nice thing for everybody involved and uh, yeah please let me know if you have any questions this was a very simple node.js based pops up server if you want me to build upon it move forward with it use bunch of other things on this let me know otherwise Next week on, we'll go back to our regularly, regularly scheduled uh, work, right? That we're building, uh, which is a Substack loan. Uh, we're building it in Ruby on Rails, and it's it's an open source Substack loan, so you can just download it anywhere and host it yourself, and don't need to worry up, worry about let's say using Substack. All right, thank you. This was my time, uh, and I'm going to end the stream now. Uh, it's not at it's not ended yet. But I'm going to end. Uh, if you have any questions, I don't know how long the delay is, but please, please, please ask. I'm going to drink my water in the meanwhile. Uh, and if I don't get any question in that time uh, or anything in the chat, <laughs> I'll just press the end button. All right. You have 10 seconds.
okay no questions i guess all right guys thank you so much for joining whoever joined um and please join me next week like share subscribe blah 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 bye bye